Hey, you don't know. You don't know how many times I grew up every day in the corn, in the snow, playing food stocking, growing up. Off season. I work so hard for this. I work so hard for this. I work so hard for this. Hey, everybody. It's Gregory Gun Game, and welcome to tonight's episode of Food Stocking Night, where we got some sweet milk action. We got highlights from opening day, where Team B.O. from the Cows Daily Herald. Um, we see that you have decided to make it back for the Christmas Classic. You had a little time away. Um, tell us a little bit about what's going on. Well, you know, I just thought I needed some time mm -hmm. to, you know, reflect on my my play of the last tournament um, that I was in. I had to skip a tournament for that, but that was a little disappointing. But I'm come back well refreshed, well strong, me and my partner, who is yet to be announced completely. Um, is we're, we're coming on strong, we're ready to, we're ready to win the title and uh, take it from B.O., that's for sure. Uh, rumor has it that your partner might be a kangaroo, is this true? 
Um, I'm not at liberty to say that right now. Um, it's a possibility. I'm not, I'm not closing that up, those options right now, but um, you'll find out the day of the Christmas Classic. Well, it's great to have you back, Joel. Good luck. Well, thank you very much. In other news, big news, big, big news, the shoes just signed Andrew Berkey. That's right. Andrew will be playing with Tyler Birmingham, making them a definite threat to take the title of the Christmas Classic. Also, the cut now realized how much more important playing the game is than their uniforms. Could be huge. They made it to the Final Four last time on uniforms alone. Now they're actual players. We'll see what they do. Also, Hamburgers! Always a threat! Micah! Set! All right! David Hershberger will be back! Evan Wan! Connor Van Dyke! Also, Tori Berkey! She's got something to prove! We all know that! Miranda Birmingham! Olivia Berkey, the shortest squad out there, but also feisty. Who will come up champions of this year's Christmas Classic? No one knows, but what we do know, B.O. will not win it because they won't be there. We will see a new champion. Yes, the rumors are all true. Um, unfortunately, Team B.O. will not be participating in the Christmas Classic um, due to our unbelievable success in Flugschnagen. We've received a lot of uh, threats and such um, because people, other people, want a chance to win. And um, you know, even our my uniform, the uniforms got stolen. Um, all I found. Where my uniform used to set was this green M&M. Um, so I'm pretty sure um, getting the hint from the M&M boys that they don't want us around. My partner, I got a phone call from my partner, Jason, today. Um, very distraught, very disturbed. Um, we'll let you guys take a listen to that a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate that it's come to this threats to our families. We just don't feel safe participating in in this tournament. There's a lot of untrue things going on about off-season practicing and uh, taking bribes. All things very false. So good luck to the rest of the teams in it. Um, we know it'll be a great tournament. We just hate to miss it. I want to apologize to my sponsor, uh, Secret. It's strong enough for this man. Thank you. practice outside of season and that that is against in the bylaws do you have any comment have you heard about these allegations i don't i don't judge anyone we didn't we didn't trade we didn't fluke but you know we 
we pushed up, we have two hour sessions every day. We just took an hour and a half of those, we're looking at uniforms, what we wanted. But there was in a half hour of exercise. Those okay. exercises were good, we were uh, We have no comment about the Anoas that they potentially did set up a court and practice um, outside did, of season. If they did hey, their business, I mean, uh, I'm here to fluke uh, and play uh, fairly. So, I mean, we've got a game, we're starting to lose okay. our warm up. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you, thank you very much. much. No, no comment, very good. Now again, I think that Team Vio is cheating everyone else out of a championship with playing against on the bye. More importantly, I'm sure you've heard about the allegations that potentially out of season, Team Vio set up a Glushnagi court and practiced I did hear out of season. Do you have any comment on such ground shattering allegations? It wouldn't surprise me to see Team Vio trying to get an edge like that. I mean, they're just doing whatever it takes to win. I, mean, yeah. I just want to imagine how good we would have done if we had off-season Uh You don't think it's just because Team P.O. is the best team out there? <laughs> no. uh, that was obviously uh, Jeff Overholt from Team P.O. They're, you, yeah. they're a team that's aging. They're past their prime. It's time for a new team. I actually I heard them pull a hamstring when they were playing us. Wow. It was disgusting. <laughs> <That's bad. laughs> That they did practice in the offseason. I am applying for 100% today. This is the greatest game ever in Bad Head, the greatest game ever played. Woo! I'm proud of every single person in this tournament. I love every player in this league! Yeah! Thank, thank, thank you, my queen. Thank you, my queen. Will we see the Supergirls at the next tournament? Uh, you can count on it. We will wow. redeem ourselves. We will redeem ourselves. Lost to uh, B.O. And we thought for sure they just stunk, but it turns out they're actually... I okay. just... The outfits, it just distracts me. I just yeah. couldn't play right. We couldn't concentrate. How are you supposed to return a ball when there's guys dancing in these they skirts? They yodeling yodeling. And <laughs> doing the little thing. I couldn't what concentrate. That? I thought this was like an athletic event. Seriously. I don't like those guys. Me neither.